Welcome to another Flypaper Academy installment. In this video, we're going to go over our new batch rename feature that we just added to Sherlock. With this feature, it's grayed out until you select some clashes that you want to rename. So I'm going to select a few clashes here and then choose rename. In the window, you'll see the existing names of all of those clashes that we've got selected and the updated names that uh, those names will be updated to when you choose to rename it. You, from here, you can add any prefix or suffix to any of these names by simply putting the cursor before or after the existing clash name. So say I chose these five or six clashes and I want to assign them all to the same person to work on them. So maybe Joe needs to work on all of these clashes. Now you can see that if I hit rename, those names would all be updated to Joe and then whatever the existing clash name was. Another good use case for this is, uh, say I've added some areas to my model like I have here. So I've got two areas added to my model already, phase one and phase two. But maybe I added those areas after I had already grouped up my model. So distill didn't add the area name to those groups. But now I want those area names to be in my groups. So I can come in here and I can select all the clashes in this test by doing a simple shift click hit rename, and then maybe I want the area to be the first thing in the name. So I'm just gonna put my cursor here and hit area. And now that tag will be replaced with whatever area those clashes are within. And then I can just hit rename. And then you can see that that change has been made to all of the clash names right in the clash detective. Uh, another use case for this is maybe I've uh, put a bunch of information in these clash names, but now I don't want any of it and I want to start over from scratch. So I could select them all uh, and I want to erase some of this information in here. I can just erase the existing clash name and I can make up the group and the number uh, right here in the template. And now it'll erase everything. It'll just uh, replace it all with just group and then a number. These numbers will be different than the numbers that you had before, but they will not be uh, reused from the numbers that you had before. So they're just sequential, the next highest numbers that are in the, the sequence. So I can hit rename. Now I'm back to just standard group and numbering naming. And then I can add in uh, whatever I would like in here, like I was doing before. Maybe I need Chad to work on these and I can hit rename. And now Chad knows that he needs to work on all of those clashes. So uh, with that, uh, we're excited to see how you start using this feature. And if you think of any other uh, things that you would want added to this feature, uh, please let us know in the comments uh, or shoot us an email or reach out to us on our website. Thanks and have a great day.